Hi Reborn Mommies and Dolly friends. It's me, Pooh Bear 253 here, and I just want to welcome you guys to the 17th installment of Reborn Essentials. Today we are in a brand new chapter, chapter 3, The Furniture. This installment of Reborn Essentials, well, this chapter rather, will be broken up into just three parts. Our first part, we're going to be talking about reborn beds and bassinets. Okay, let's talk about what you're going to need to make a reborn bed of your own. Okay, first things first. You're going to need a laundry basket. Just a plain old laundry basket that you can get from Target or Walmart or at um, your home already. These laundry baskets um, can run you um, the most inexpensive. It's like $4 and maybe 4 to $6 would be a good price. And you're going to need one to two really fluffy pillows. You're also going to also going to need to pick out your fabric. You can get this from Walmart, Joann's, or your local fabric store, or uh, maybe even a thrift store. You're going to need your hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, some really pretty ribbon, and any type of pretty decorative boggles or little doggles that you can also get from the Dollar Tree. Um, all these items can be found at the Dollar Tree. Actually, the uh, Dollar Tree used to carry uh, hot glue guns, but I haven't seen them there in a very long time. This one I actually got from the Dollar Tree. But you can get glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. Scissors, also the Dollar Tree, but these are a nicer pair that I use for my crocheting that I got from Walmart. You can get ribbon of all sorts of colors pinks purples yellow blue and also at the dollar tree or walmart or your fabric store and like i say these little doggle things you can get from the dollar tree or from walmart or party store of your choice so once you get all of those items you are ready to make your very own reborn bed uh depending on if you want it to be gender neutral or just for a girl or for a boy that will help you decide on what you would like uh, what fabrics and things you would like to use for it and I actually use two pillows in here because I wanted the baby to sit out but if you want the baby to go deeper in you could just only use one pillow and it would be something like that um, basically the fabric uh, you measure it around you cut it to the desired length and basically what I did was I just start hot gluing it around at the bottom um, that's what I started doing until it didn't move anymore <laughs> and then I let it dry and I hot glued this yellow ribbon around I made my bows I you could just search on YouTube of how to make bows a simple bow this was these were very very simple and easy to make. These ribbons came from the Dollar Tree. This fabric came from Walmart. It was a um, cheaper fabric, but the ribbons came from the Dollar Tree and the little pretty baby doggles also came from the Dollar Tree. And you can get this type of ribbon like for balloons and stuff that's also at the Dollar Tree. And this here is just a blanket. I have two pillows in here. And um, that's pretty much it. It's not really rocket science, but that's how you can make your very own Reborn bed. And there's also a tutorial. I do believe the video was made by Reborn Connection. I'm not quite sure. And that's the, the, to the tutorial that I followed. And you can put your own little flair onto it. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the Dolly community, uh, we're going to be talking about one more thing in this episode, and it is bassinets. Um, you can get your bassinets used um, from a family member, from a garage sale, wherever. I actually got both of my bassinets from Craigslist, and they were in pristine condition. This one didn't come with the mat 
but I bought a mat and I just put a um, little E or blanket in there and you can add your own little touches to there like I like to every, all of my babies have their little pillows and I just have those in there and a little um, bear and a little rattle in there just to kind of add your own little flair to it and you can put little taggies and things around it to make it look really cute. Uh, this other bassinet I also got from Craigslist. Very, 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 very nice. <laughs> I paid little of nothing for it and it was brand spanking new. I bought the little bassinet cover with the little green polka dots to put in there and I have enjoyed having these in my nursery ever since. Um, I say look out for garage sales. If you know a family member that had a baby and the baby's too big for the bassinets now, uh, you know, hey, what are you doing with that bassinet? Can I buy it off of you? Or, you know, uh, and you can go the other route. You can buy them at the store full price, Walmart or Target, Burlington, wherever. Um, if you would like to have a um, smaller um, a bedding that would take up a little less room. You can also purchase pack a pack and play. I don't have one of those to show you because I um, have my bassinets in my cribs and stuff and I don't have room for a bassinet. Also something else you can use um, rock and plays are really cute. I actually want to get a rock and play so bad and I actually think I'm going to get one um, because I have a girl bouncer, a boy bouncer. I have the girl bassinet, the boy bassinet and you know I have the girl reborn bed. I don't have a boy reborn bed and I have like the girl swing and I want to get uh, more of a boy slash neutral rock and play but I don't have room for it and uh, yeah so that's basically the end of store maybe at some point I'll be able to get it but I'm getting off topic now we were talking about reborn beds today and bassinets as far as for furniture for your reborn nursery and this chapter is basically for reborn mommies that basically have a whole room to dedicate to their reborn nurseries um, due to the fact that reborn furniture is the same type of furniture that you use for babies, they take up a lot more space. And, you know, if you don't have a whole room to dedicate to it, you know, you may not be able to acquire or have the larger items. But, like I say, this is just, um, just me, um, talking to you guys about uh, the type of things that I like and things that I've experienced while in the reborn community for um, over the last two years. And yeah, I just want to kind of talk about my experiences and things that I have acquired over those years. But um, that is the conclusion of Reborn Essentials. Okay, and I want to end this episode with our audience participation question and right after that I'm going to read the last responses for the audience participation question from webisode number 16. Alright guys I'm back. I'm pretty sure uh, you guys have for actually uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have forgotten the actual question that was asked at the end of well it was a whole other video because I forgot to ask but the question that was asked at the end of um, webisode 16 was um, have you ever taken your reborn out for outing and if you did where did you go and what did you use to take them out in uh, reborn sling or bassinet I mean sling or in your arms or in a car seat because that's what we were talking about on that last webisode and also if you got any good reactions uh, tell us about it and if not um, we just didn't want to bring up bad memories and also if you haven't taken your babies out where would you like to take them for the first time so I'm going to start at the beginning here and I'm going to um, read every other response. The AG Bunny Gal responded with, 
when I get my reborn, I'm going to take her to the park and maybe Walmart. Love Reborns 2009 responded with, I never took my reborn out before. I've only took my Ash and Drake doll baby out only one day I took her to the bowling alley. I carried her in a car seat and I didn't get any reactions. Lucinda Plancerta uh, responded, I carried my reborn throughout a Dollar Tree store. I thought I was going to faint, lol. Believe me, I have been there. I didn't get reactions, but I did get a few, oh, baby looks. Now, when I do take my Reborns out, I put them in a car seat so they look more realistic. Emma Artrip responded, We took our Reborn to Walmart. My daughter carried uh, Mikey, Mike, Mike, and there's an H behind it, I'm not sure, in, and we uh, sat him in a buggy like a real baby. A lot of people thought he was real, so we got a lot of good reactions. Reborn Retro Living responded, I carried mine to the mall indoor play yard to my first meeting with Amy Mesh 312 and we got good reactions. Lastly, uh, Eliza P responded, Herlanda, that was three years ago, LOL. I think I have to go all the way back in time on my channel and get back on this. <laughs> so she doesn't remember. Uh, let's see, continuing. And my poetic spirit. Oh, I miss her so. Um, she responded, I keep my babies rather private and I don't take them out. But if I were to take them out, I would take them to the park in a stroller and just enjoy walking around by myself enjoying the nature. And there's only one more up here. I'll go ahead and uh, uh, read Kimber Hall's response. I carried Elena in my arms to a nursing home. I had so many positive reactions from all the workers and residents. The residents enjoyed holding Elena, talking to her, rocking her, and feeling her hair. There was they, the I guess there were smiling ears. I guess they were smiling from ear to ear. I'm going to take Xander to the nursing home next in my new car seat. And that concludes all of the reborn uh, responses, the uh, audience participation responses from webisode number 16. Coming up next, I will be sharing with you the audience particip the audience participation question for this webisode. All right, guys, our audience participation question for this week is: What are your views on using real formula for reborn babies? I have to say that I'm kind of torn. I do realize that, you know, we work hard for our money and we can spend our money on whatever we want. But the fact that real formula could be used and or donated for real babies can be a little bit of a sticky situation. What are your thoughts? All right, put your uh, responses in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on next Sunday. I did it on Labor Day today. Um, but I will see you guys next Sunday for, uh, webisode number 18. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. Mwah! And I will see you guys later. Peace. Bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of your Memorial Day holiday. Bye, guys.